This is our cool Airstream. You can actually be inside an Airstream and have a serious meeting. Hard, but can be done. <laughs> Naba Banerjee is the head of trust and safety at the vacation rental company Airbnb. We caught up at the San Francisco headquarters where the rooms are modeled on real listings, and she's giving me a tour. So this is a listing in Italy. Some of them, I think we are converting them into little more practical meeting rooms, but there was literally a ramen bar meeting room here. <laughs> These days, she also goes by the unofficial title Party Pooper because she created the system that predicts and prevents parties from being booked on their platform. And they actually used to have ramen making lessons here. This episode, we bring you the first installment of our new oral history project. Throughout this series, we'll be featuring the stories of breakthroughs and other key moments in emerging tech, as told by those who witnessed them. I'm Jennifer Strong, and this is Shift. Now here on the steering column is a device called Autocruise. You simply set the speed you want. Self-driving robo-taxis are already on the road in two cities. How the disc rotates, a mirror reflects the light in the way that depends on how the signal was recorded. This is the 100 terabyte Electro. I present to you Electro, the Mono Man. Ladies and gentlemen. I would say that one of my greatest skills is my ability to interact with you. Because you're listening to this podcast, I'm assuming you're interested in staying on top of the latest trends, news, and more. So I want to tell you about another show. It's called Web3 with a 6 c Crypto, but it's really about the future of the internet, future of creators, future of business, future of the way we work and live. It's for anyone seeking to understand the latest tech trends direct from experts with high insights per minute, given your time and attention are so valuable. Follow Web3 with a 6 c in your podcast app now. Naba Banerjee. I lead the trust and safety team at Airbnb. I now have the official body pooper title and I'm proudly <laughs> wearing it. This journey started back actually when I had just joined the trust team. This was my, the first gift given to me from the trust team where the pandemic had just started. You know, bars and hotels had, had shut down. And we, even though very, very rare, we were starting to see some un unauthorized and disruptive parties starting to happen in Airbnb, partly because people had nowhere else to go. And around that time, I remember just being really nervous because I didn't know of any other company in the world that had solved a problem like this. And yet I just started thinking, what do we do here? So I just remember getting a lot of our cross-functional partners together, looking at the data together. And some common patterns started to come out that why was someone booking an entire home on Halloween night just for, just for one night at the last minute. And they live pretty close by to that listing. And as a mother of teenagers, of your, your radar is pretty strong. <laughs> and so, interestingly, my boss, Tara Bun, she's she's also a, a mother of teenagers. We have a lot of, actually, mothers here, you know, doing trust and safety in, in Airbnb. So we just started thinking about, you know, we, there's probably something here. And the first thing that we did was build a heuristic you know, where we said that anyone who is under a certain age threshold, who lives pretty close by, he's booking something, an entire home at the last minute, especially during these high-risk party weekends. Let's block those reservations. And we immediately saw an impact in, in the rate of party reports, you know, reducing. But soon we started seeing that anytime you create a rule, someone will find a way to break the rule. And so people started asking their older relatives or older friends to book for them. Like instead of one night, they would book for two nights or they would try to manipulate their IP address to make it look like they were much further away than they actually were. And while we were trying to catch these things, it always felt like we were a step behind. And so I started talking to my team about there has to be a better way. Like this is what machine learning is for. Like how can we learn from all of the different incidents that we are seeing around us? And Mind you, because these incidents are so rare, we didn't have a lot of data to learn from. Mm -hmm. 
but we had to get smart so we were very thoughtful about it and we decided that let's let's implement our first model in australia and w- during this time one of the other reflections we had is that people also need to know that this is not okay like airbnb as a platform you know again built on a foundation of trust it's very traumatic to to find out that you trusted someone with your home and and that home was messed up you know because a, an unauthorized party was thrown so we wanted to make sure that we codified our global party ban policy saying that parties are absolutely not allowed on airbnb so we we announced the party ban we implemented this rule and in 2021 we actually implemented our first australia pilot and interestingly we saw a 35% reduction in reports of parties in the group where in in the we did we did ab test basically where we saw that the 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 part the cohort that actually had the defense versus the one that didn't we saw there was a 35% reduction in party reports which gave us the indicator we needed to move forward with it and then um the year after you know we we said we announced that we are going to launch this in north america which was a much bigger population and we saw you know more party reports over there and from there then at the at the end of november of 2022 we said that we are just going to go global so by spring which is may of 2023 actually we announced the global reservation screening effort and since then we have been live from may 2023 to september 2023 we have actually redirected or blocked about 300,000 reservation attempts where we thought there could be a party risk and in 2022 about 7,500 uh, users were suspended from the platform because we found that they violated our party ban so we have taken some pretty significant steps but again no solution is foolproof and that's what i was talking about that it it makes the job very challenging but it also gives you even more purpose and mission to keep going like every time we we learn about collusion for example that potentially if our system blocked you you now are trying to get the help of someone else to book a party how do we find those attempts we just have to keep adding to our ai intelligence to our models we'll be back right after this Hackers and cyber criminals have always held this kind of special fascination. Obviously, I can't tell you too much about what I do. It's a game. Who's the best hacker? And I was like, "Well, this is child's play." I'm Dina Templerest, and on the Click Here podcast, you'll meet them and the people trying to stop them. We're not afraid of the attack. We're afraid of the creativity and the intelligence of the human being behind it. Click Here: Stories about the people making and breaking our digital world. AI machines, satellite, engine ignition, click here, and lift off. Every Tuesday, wherever you get your podcasts. We have always been an AI shop. We have always been using advanced AI and machine learning in order to do all of this. But now with Gen AI and LLMs, that opens up a whole other world of possibilities on what we could do. I... I often used to think about the account team is trying to detect is this a real account or a fake account is has this account been taken over the the reviews team is trying to detect fake reviews the listings team is trying to detect you know bait and switch or fake listings from being created on the platform but fraud or safety issues often don't happen just in isolation there is usually something happening right from the beginning at the time that the account was created the identity was verified you know maybe a listing was created there is usually a connection between all of these dots but when you use the the latest and greatest power of ai to connect the dots across all of these different touch points of a customer journey you're able to see the whole picture and it is very hard to do unless you have that kind of compute power that kind of access to data and the capability to connect dots but ai can now come and potentially connect the dots to see is there something bigger that can come out of everyone's work combined together So this capability of looking at things more holistically is is going to get unlocked with just the sheer power of AI, its capability to go through unstructured content and being able to learn from it and make sense of it and then give us insights which often today sometimes multiple models tr- are trying to orchestrate together or humans are trying to you know take something and then you know do it on their own. Mm-hmm. 
one of the pieces of feedback that we are hearing directly from our community is is the need for us to have listings that are reliable. And we have, uh, my team has uh, been working on fraud models in the background that try to detect uh, any fraudulent activity happening with listings and trying to minimize the risk of those things from happening. And till date, we have, uh, we have removed about 157,000 in a listings that, that had potential fraud risk uh, associated with them. But we realized that we cannot do this alone. We need the help of our community in order for us to reduce fraud on the platform. And so verified listings is a way where we are going to be leveraging our hosts as they set up a new listing so that they can help us verify that the space is real, the location is accurate, and that the host has access to this listing. We are actually going to ask you to use your, use your phone, use the Airbnb app to take a live picture of, of an interior photo and an exterior photo. And as you are taking that live picture, we will verify the location of the device and by asking you to take live pictures of those photos, we are verifying that you have access to the listing and that the location is accurate, which I think will go a long way. We are now a company that verifies into 20 plus countries and regions, you know, all booking guests, as well as you know, all hosts that are publishing listings and co-hosts you know, their identities. I have teenage daughters, three teenage daughters. I want them to be able to travel the world on their own without having any fear. And so we are working on how to make travel really safe for you know, solo travelers, solo female travelers. So we are working on that. The identity verification work helps build, bring the world just a little bit closer so that people don't have to worry, is this person really who they say they are? And the party work can go beyond parties and start to help us discover other kinds of issues. And then lastly, I would say that I think 99.9% .9 of users on the platform are actually good. And machine learning and AI gets better with more data that you have. While traditionally trust and safety teams in the industry have tried to detect risk, incidents with risk or bad behavior is so rare. What if we all flip the coin and actually start learning what good behavior looks like? So in, in our trust and safety team, we are also starting to learn, you know, what does great behavior look like if majority of our users are actually great? You know, they check in on time, they check out on time, they plan ahead, you know, they, they leave great reviews, they, they leave the listing better than they found it. If we can learn from that, that actually helps us make the platform even safer because then we can make sure that good users, whether they are hosts or guests, they have an almost frictionless experience. And then it helps us, you know, catch some of the fraudulent or unsafe activities even better. This show is produced by me and Anthony Green with help from Emma Silicons. It's mixed by Garrett Lang with original music from him and Jacob Gorski. Thanks for listening. I'm Jennifer Strong.